enjoy learning about human species. It is one of my passions. Recently, I started reading a graphic novel called Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari. And that was the book that got me hooked on learning about human species. The more books I read, the more interested I got. I thought about when we learned about ecosystems in science class, specifically invasive species and what defines a species as invasive. That's when it hit me. We humans, Homo sapiens, sound very much like invasive species. To discuss why we are an invasive species, first we must clarify its definition. Invasive species are organisms that are not indigenous to a particular area that can cause great environmental harm to the area, according to National Geographic. Humans fit in this definition. Our species, the Homo sapiens, left Africa, as represented by the orange arrow on the map, where we originated to later spread across the globe, following the path of these red arrows. We are the only species that colonize all the continents and major islands, unlike other species of sapiens. We are capable of collaborating in complex groups with complete strangers, a genetic trait found only in Homo sapiens. According to Sam Bowles, an economist at the Santa Fe Institute who did mathematical modeling of social evolution, Groups that have higher numbers of pro-social people will work together more efficiently, outcompete others, and pass their genes for this behavior onto the next generation. Our ability to collaborate made us capable of conquest at a high level. Wherever we went, ecological change followed. For example, according to Curtis Marine, a professor at the School of Human Evolution and Social Change at Arizona State University, Homo sapiens arrived in Europe and Asia and drove archaic humans and many animal species to extinction. When modern humans traveled to new horizons, places that never had any human residents, as shown by these yellow circles on the map, megafauna, large mammals from a specific habitat, region, or geological period were quickly hunted and driven to extinction. Some argue that it was climate change that caused megafaunal extinction rather than human colonization. That is a problem I encountered during my research as well, since it was different from what I knew about this topic. We are right, but not exactly. Louis Bartlett, who studied in life and environmental sciences in the University of Cambridge, and David Williams in the Department of Zoology at the University of Exeter, compiled a database of last appearance states of megafauna to analyze the importance of climate change and human colonization in causing extinction. Using published literature for evidence of human arrival and climate reconstruction, the majority of the model's explanatory power is ascribed uniquely to, to human colonization supporting the hypothesis that the spreading of modern humans globally as the most vital factor of megafaunal extinction. Only a small portion of the explanatory power is carried on by the factor of climate. Thus, we fit into the description of invasive species, causing great environmental harm in all the continents and destroying the biodiversity of ecosystems. To this day, as invasive species, we are still causing extreme environmental harm to the world by human activities like deforestation, intensive agriculture, and pollution. We are causing one million species in the world to be at risk for extinction, according to the United Nations 2019 Global Assessment Report. We are wiping wildlife from the face of our planet, burning our forests, polluting and overfishing our seas, and destroying wild areas. We are wrecking our world, the one place we call home, risking our health, security, and survival here on Earth, said Tanya Steele, the chief executive at Worldwide Fund for Nature. In order for us to survive, we need to learn to coexist with the world. Hope is not lost, and there is still a chance of some recovery. To be a steward of our planet, or to be the destroyer of our environment, 
and eventually ourselves. Which one do you want to be?